the Mineral Springs. It's the soul of our community. I can't sing the praises enough. It's one of the few places in the world where water actually has natural carbonation to it. He doesn't have a saddle on him. <laughs> Ute, the Tabawash, this was an area very important to them. These springs have all of the elements that make up who we are. From an economic standpoint, obviously it's a draw. This is the namesake of our community and people come here to taste of the waters and share our town with us. The eight fountains are Seven Minutes Spring, Shoshone Spring, Cheyenne Spring, Navajo Spring, Wheeler Spring, Stratton Spring, Twin Spring, and Iron Spring. And there are actually several more springs that are just basically running wild and discharging into Fountain Creek that are on private property or have been capped and diverted. Way back in the day, 152 years ago when Manitou Springs was founded, there were over 50 springs running wild in the valley. Manitou, as the valley with its natural mineral springs, was very important to the Utes and the Cheyenne and the Arapaho, the other tribes. Then, of course, with the arrival of the settlers in the West, the Manitou Springs became a novelty item for tasting and bathing and other activities. Period science at that time that supported that drinking and consuming mineral water was good for your health. The appearance of Manitou table water was nationwide. The distribution of Manitou mineral water and youth bottling works, it was an in industry in its own right. In fact, I would say that outside of tourism, it was probably the only true industry that ever really existed in Manitou Springs. And interestingly enough, they also collected the carbon dioxide off of the springs and would bottle it and canisters for commercial use throughout the United States. Next to me is a large item here. That was the Ute Gusher bottle. It encapsulated the uh, Ute geyser itself and was a draw for many years until its demise in 1914 when it was taken down and discarded over a hillside. The city of Manitou Springs or the town of Manitou Springs is a very dramatic box canyon and right above us to the north is the Williams Canyon limestone remnant. It is a isolated limestone karst aquifer that over thousands and thousands of years has been inundated with surface waters that drive deep into the earth and it is deep, deep waters. What we call the sweet spot is around 280 to 320 feet down. Because of the intense pressure and the natural carbonization the water that comes out at the font comes out under its own pressure without any sort of mechanical assistance at all. And that's why it carries those deep rock minerals with it. Even though their mineral profile is somewhat similar, each one of the springs is a little bit different from each other. Twin and Wheeler are probably our most middle of the road waters. Twin is our most favorite. It's the one that folks love to make lemonade out of. Wheeler's my personal favorite. It's just great balance, great carbonation, great flavor. Something like Stratton is a, a bit more of a punch. It's going to feel spicier or taste spicier. And then something like Iron Geyser, which Iron Geyser is going to have your most mineral content, your most copper, so you're really going to taste that. Shoshone? I always like to say, though, everybody's palate is different. You'd be surprised. Some folks come and they try one. They, they don't even taste it at all. And some folks, that they're very sensitive to it. So I say try them all. Find your favorite. Come back anytime. The water is obviously safe for tasting. We test every month for bacteria, nitrates, a full profile of safety testing as, as, as they do with your regular tap water. It's got like a sweetness to it and an effervescence to it. And the water that you taste at the Mineral Springs fonts is anywhere between two and 300 years old according to studies from the U.S. Geological Survey. Manitou Springs is a wonderful small community where things really pick up in a day and it kind of becomes almost sort of like a, a living, breathing street fair carnival. 
And then late at night as things settle down and it's dark and cool and you walk through town and it's quiet, you can literally hear the springs running and spraying throughout the town and it's really quite something unique and special.